can you get amazing shots, Hollywood level shots, like the ones you see from your favorite TV show or movie? Can you get that with a one man crew, a couple of small cheap lights, and a crappy camera? Well, that is what we are going to find out today because I am going to be attempting to recreate some shots from some TV shows or movies with zero budget, only using the resources I have. Now, I wanted to make this video to prove that you don't need a large crew, fancy lighting setups, and expensive cameras and lenses to get some awesome looking shots. You can still get some really amazing looking shots with whatever you have at the moment. Everything I'm about to do in this video can be done by anyone. So I just did some research for some shots that I could potentially do or try. Now preferably I would like to do most of these shots in my bedroom or a certain type of room. So I have picked these five shots. But five is a bit much and I don't want to drag this out super long. So I just chose these three. So I'm going to attempt to do these three shots and at the end I'm going to try and make my own original cinematic shot. Because stealing like an artist is great and all, but what's the point if you can't make it your own? All right, let's get to the first shot. All right, so I just woke up like a few hours ago. I'm still in my PJs and everything. So I think this is the perfect time to get this shot. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out the framing of it right now. The room in the scene and my room aren't exactly the same, but I don't think I need to 100% recreate the shots exactly. So I'm gonna give myself some free room to adapt. I have successfully moved this thing. I just gotta clean it up. Make it look nice now. So in the shot, there's this vintage timer alarm thingy. I don't know. I don't have one of those, and I don't even have an, a normal alarm clock thing. So um, I'm just gonna use this. I have this for some reason. I'm just gonna put this in the scene. I think it's a little funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm making do with whatever props I have. So. Since I'm doing this by myself, I have to physically go into the scene while it's recording go back so I can check all the framing and everything. It's a little bit more time consuming than if I just had like a friend or something model for me and I could check everything there because now I have to go back and forth. But I wanted this to be possible for like literally anyone at any time in your own room by yourself. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more time consuming, but it is possible. Because there's a lot of bright light coming in, I'm gonna add an ND filter. It's basically sunglasses for your camera. Okay, I think it looks a lot better with the ND filter. This contraption here is, uh, I'm using it as like a, oh that's, that's probably too bright. I'm using this as like a reflector for the light because if it directly comes at me, it's a little too harsh but if it's reflected this way, it might be a little more softer, more natural is what I'm going for. Just experimenting here, trying to see what works, you know, trying to work with what I got. Yup, that's a lot better. Oh my god. I think we got the shot. I think we got the shot. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, now you will be seeing the full shot with all the color grading and everything. I think it turned out okay. I had fun making this first shot, but yeah, now I can finally shower and change and move on to the next one. All right, we are in another place. It is a complete mess right now, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of rearranging and stuff. Maybe try and ignore the mess for now. But uh, basically in the shot, it is uh, 
I'm forgetting his name. I watched the show. I forgot his name. Um, I will remember later. It is uh, the subjects in the middle on a one-person bed. That's why I came in here. They have a one-person bed. The lighting and the composition is, uh, I would say, pretty simple. Um, it's just a top-down shot with the lighting coming from here, which I think I can manage to do. I think the thing that makes this shot really pop and what makes it cinematic is the uh, set design, the props, the colors. That is what's really making this shot a good shot. So earlier in the first shot, I was focusing on a lot of the lighting and the mood and atmosphere and stuff. But now what I have to focus on is the set design, trying to get some colors to pop, trying to get some good props and stuff in place. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh my god, I have to do a lot. painting which is like kind of the main centerpiece of it along with the subject. I don't have any paintings and I can't exactly hang anything up there. So we have a problem. <laughs> back with some props. Okay, the shot actually looks a whole lot better with the changed pillowcase. It just added a lot more life and color to the scene. I still feel like everything's a little bit desaturated. I want something a little bit more vibrant. The colors just don't seem to pop as much. Maybe it's the lighting. The lighting kind of sucks. Okay, I think the lighting definitely help the scene. It's looking a little better. I think with a little bit more work, the scene could be pretty decent. Um, for the painting, I don't have any paintings. Can't hang anything on the wall. The wall isn't even showing in the shot. But I did remember that my grandpa actually has this thing. I think I just got the shot. I'm so happy. That took so long. I didn't think it was gonna look that great at first, but I was pretty happy with it in the end. I hope it looks good, but now I have to clean this mess up and transition. All cleaned up, let's move on to the next scene. All right, we are back in my room for the final shot. I don't think this shot will be too tricky, but I said that about the last one, so. I don't really know. This is the shot we are getting now. The subject is, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to sit down here. I didn't realize this until like earlier, but there's actually flames in the shot. Um, I'm not gonna add those, but uh, I think the scene works just as well without the flames. They're like fairly noticeable. So yeah, this is a pretty depressing shot. Let's, uh, let's do it. I don't know what's actually causing the fires. They're like stoves or something? Um, okay, well I can't bring a bunch of stoves in here. Um, yeah, I thought those were a bunch of books, so I'm just gonna lay out a bunch of books. I think that'll have the same effect, hopefully. <laughs> So I got all three of the shots I wanted to do done today. Just to show you again, here they all are. Now I didn't make this to show that I'm somehow better than these professionals at Hollywood with, with actual crews and lighting setups and big expensive cameras. I in no way mean to say that. I just wanted to make this video for other aspiring filmmakers 
like me to show that you don't need all of those things to get some awesome looking shots. This camera right here is the Canon M50. It is a mirrorless camera. It's not even full frame. It is years and years old. This lens is the kit lens, which is basically the lens that came with the camera. It is nothing special. The point is you don't need all these big things to make good shots. These were the only lights I used in this video apart from natural light and house lights. These literally costed nothing and they're super small. No big soft boxes, no nothing. All achieved with this. Hopefully you were able to learn something from this. I definitely had a lot of fun making these shots. I was honestly getting frustrated at times, but in the end I got the results I wanted. I was pretty happy. Now I said at the beginning, after the three shots I recreated, I would make my own original shot. And that is what I'm going to do.